that's turned into like the kids area. My arcade is still there. And then the whole front behind you guys right now is the rest of the man den. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I got two cameras set up today. What up, YouTube? This is Nate from Thrift Roller coming at you from my basement. Too many bags to put by the desk. Again, dual camera setup. My daughter's in the back right now watching TV, eating some breakfast, so she might interrupt us. Just warning you. Hold on. I'm watching the game on the Breakfast Club. Anyways, hopefully everyone's doing well. I'm back with another pickup video today. A little bit of a different format, kind of. Surprise packs. Do you guys remember that back in the day? You used to go to the corner store and pick up, like for a dollar, a surprise pack, and have a cards in it and and candy and some other stuff. I don't know, tattoos. I remember getting a, uh, I want to say Voltron tattoos. You didn't know what was in it, but it was like a quarter. But it was like Christmas. Every time you opened it up, you knew it was cheap shit, like baseball cards from two seasons ago. But you still bought them. That's what today is. Today is surprise packs. I got a bunch of bags from the thrift store. I can't remember what's in each bag because it's been so long since uh, I bought them, I guess. I just let it accumulate. Some things I do know. I have one maple syrup pickup of the week. So everything will be surprise packs and then maple syrup pickup of the week, which is the best pickup of the video. Video game related things. There's also some thrift store fashion. Is that a thing? There's like one pair of shoes in here. There's some VHS tapes, some gifts from Candy Baby who came into the city. Uh, check him out on YouTube. He visited and we did some game hunting. 64-Bit uh, Matthew is coming into town right after this. I'm going to go shoot a video with him. We're going to do some game hunting. Maybe I'll put it in this video. Lots of talking. Let's get to ripping. Ripping bag, son. First bag right here. I'll open it. Surprise pack. Look at that. This is from my wife. Uh, Superstore. I, I've talked about it a few times in the city. I think they're closing down their electronics section. These were on the shelf for $2.50 each. The Agagato or Ascension, which I don't think I own yet. I'm just looking right now. No, I don't own it. And Far Cry 4 for the PS3. $2.50. These are really good deals. I know it says $12 on there, but they're $2.50 each. Ta-da, ta-da. Nice pickup there. I like that one. My brother-in-law actually went to the same superstore probably a week or two before my wife did. I'm using them right now. He picked these up for me. 20 bucks. Pulse and, and headphones. Pretty sure this was a scanning error. Okay, that camera's too So I'm pretty sure this was a uh, scanning error because as my friends, as soon as he saw them, because uh, I had my wife's birthday party at the time and my friends were over, or my wife's friends were over too, and they saw me using them and they're like, 20 bucks for headphones. They rushed over there. And they wouldn't sell it to them for 20 bucks. They, as soon as my brother bought it, he bought three pairs that day, so he gave me one. They put the price back up, like, immediately, because the manager was like, that's not right. And apparently it wasn't right. But I lucked out on them. Right now, tell me what you think. They're on my head. Not bad. I never realized how much I enjoy video games more because of headphones. They really immerse you in there. Like, I'm playing Resident Evil 4 HD. If you follow that on the channel right now. And you can hear the rain drops. You can hear it's really creepy voices. And you can't see them on the camera. But you can hear them out of your right cup. So you're like, you look. You're not even looking at the TV. You look over here. Is anybody there? It's fucked. It's really good. I love headphones. I can't game without them now, it feels like. Uh, and I can play games full sound. full. There's really good bass in here, too. And my wife and daughter can sleep in peace. And I can play Res 4. Check it out on the channel. Gameplay. Oh, this here. Some posters, which I'll have to open and shoot later. Get some B-roll on them. Look how much, uh, how big they are compared to the camera. So, lower quality camera first. This is from an unnamed friend, Mr. T. What's up? Look at that. What does that say? Train on. And pocket monsters everywhere. Really cool poster, I guess. Uh, I have a collection of posters in the closet that really do nothing. Right, what else is in here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Star Wars, Battlefront. Some more little posters in there. I'll show those big posters later. 
Another Pokemon. Ah, yeah. Thank you, Mr. T and Gary. Mario Maker poster, one of my favorite games from 2015. It's like embossed a little bit. It's it's popping out. You see there's embossed. Look at that. 30 years of Mario. I got to make my own uh, levels on Super Mario and any like incarnation of the game. Well, pretty much every incarnation of the game. I got to make my own levels. And I remember as a kid playing or making with my graph paper because we never used it in class. I used to make Mario levels on graph paper. I got to do it in real life. And put it out there for the world to play. I really enjoy Mario Maker. Really enjoy this poster. Thank you very much, Mr. T. Holla. I went game hunting with KMD Baby. Again, check them out. Uh, linked below. These games were priced wrong. You see, it's $1.99 for Fighting Force 2, loose PS1 game. Uh, but if you look at the game, actually, it says... I'll put it to this camera. It says, Enter the Matrix. So, $2 for this loose disc. And Time Crisis for a buck. It's supposed to be NCAA Football 2005. You can see it right there. Time Crisis. Wester and I used to love light gun games. I was collecting a bunch of them, so... Ah, that's a duplicate, though, so it doesn't really add anything. That could be considered shelf padding. Yes! This one is from PNP Games. Surprise pack. Some 5 and $10 games. Uh, Gears of War Judgment, which essentially completes my Gears of War collection for the P Xbox 360. And Golden Axe, throwback. Y'all remember Golden Axe from Sega Genesis. Beast Rider, five bucks. I thought I'd give it a shot. A lot of price drops recently at the video game store. This game probably sucks. And I got a bunch of uh, Super Nintendo and Nintendo protectors for my boxes and stuff like that. There you go. Really good investment, by the way. KMD Baby left us a few gifts when he visited. Sorry, this video is all over the place. This is for Ian, though. So, I'll spoil it for you, Ian. Because Ian going for a complete GameCube collection. You got Yu-Gi-Oh! The, what did I say? False Bound Kingdom. You got Mystic Heroes for the GameCube. And True Crime Streets of LA. All for Ian Beardman. KMDB Baby was saying because he knows how much I love Commodore stuff. Commodore 64 program pack. I guess this is where the floppies used to go. I, I love my Commodore 64. I wish I had it still. That's my daughter. You can probably hear her. This is supposed to have noise cancellation, so anything in the environment gets canceled. That might distort. And uh, y'all remember this? Cassette tape games. Space Pilot and Jumpin' Jack. Most notable thing on YouTube that I remember from cassette tape games is AVGN, Angry Video Game Nerd, played Transformers off a of cassette tape. That's funny. There right, goes my daughter. Hi, baby. How's breakfast? Go watch TV. Oh, Mega Man Toys, KMD Baby, you're the best. I'll open that later. Haley, don't step on that, please. I uh, ditched this red camera. I'll shoot B-roll later if I have to. It's hard doing two cameras at once. KMD Baby, game hunting day. Five bucks for these headphones. Uh, what brand is that? I don't know. I just thought they'd be really cool. I'll test them out one day. Gaming headset. I cleaned the crap out of these already. They're wired. There's USB and then there's the two jacks for audio and mic. So we'll see. G4000. I got these already. So these are just backups for the office back there. Yeah, this you might not see this angle very much on our channel anymore anyways behind me that used to be all like gaming stuff and this was like this whole basement was my den and now that we're having a second kid literally in a month that's turned into like the kids area my arcade is still there and then the whole front behind you guys right now is the rest of the man den that sounds horrible <laughs> my office is in the corner over there okay that out of the way candy baby and more gifts for my homie candy baby Surprise packs. I love surprise packs. I like to say bags for poop bags for my dog. More Mega Man toys. You are dope, sir. 
Thank you, KFD baby. Terminator 2. I don't own this yet. That is awesome. Thanks, bro. And since he knows I'm collecting uh, VHS stuff. There you go. T2. Look at this. There you go. Thanks, KFD baby. That's awesome, man. You're the best. Right here. I remember these. I think these are Allen Iverson 4s. Island I said answer for it. I always wanted these as a kid and never got them. I know some people might not might be grossed out by people buying shoes and stuff from the thrift store. I clean the crap out of them. And, you know, I ain't too proud to, to wear these shoes. You know what I mean? It's all about the culture of shoes, right? But these are my size. Allen Iverson, uh, force, answer for it, sorry. In a gray and maroon colorway. Really cool. They got the zipper. I always thought that was cool, the zipper. Now, when I made the basketball team, I was wearing Brooks shoes. Brooks, Lynx, you know, really shitty shoes. Ooh. It looks really clean in these shoes. Like, the homie never played basketball in them. Sweet, look at you. Got Alan Iverson's face right there. Controversial. Check out his documentary on YouTube. Or on Netflix as well. What's this one? Oh, yeah, this is uh, yesterday at Valley Village. Pick this up. Some people might be weirded up by what's in here, but it's a surprise. You can see my crotch now. All right. $3.99 minus 30% off for a PS3 controller. $3.99 minus 30% off for a full set of Stargate Atlantis trading cards. For real. I like trading cards. What can I say? A bunch of 30% off games as well. Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3. $7.99 or $5.99 minus 30% off. Ah, I couldn't leave it behind for under 5 bucks. I didn't own these games yet, so I ridiculously paid $10, but minus 30% off, so you can count them as 7 bucks each. This one is Super Princess Peach for the DS. And Yoshi's Island DS. Ten bucks minus thirty percent off. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Recently helped my my grandmother moved in with my uh, parents, and we're renovating her, their basement so that my grandmother has like, a suite down there. And I, I found this box of VHS tapes. They're over there. I'll I'll do a little clip of them later. At the bottom of that box of VHS tapes that was in storage in the basement was this a Universal video game. Kind of heavy. And I was like, oh, my God, a, a game from my forgotten past. And I opened it up. Oh, that's the maple syrup pickup of the week. Sorry. There was no game in it, to be honest. But we did have manuals. Wave Race 64 manual. Uh, Star Fox 64 manual. And the, I guess you can call this like an index card uh, for Wave Race 64. Really underrated game. One of the the better games on the N64, I think it was a launch title and really showed off the cool 3D physics that the N64 was capable of, I thought. Never played the GameCube Wave Race. I think it was like Blue Storm or something like that. Comment below, let me know. Star Fox 64 was good too, uh, but I don't remember going too much into it. Like Wave Race, I was really trying to beat that game, getting them rings, son. Yeah, Maple Syrup behind my back, I gotta put that in there. What am I going to do first here? That's almost maple syrup. Let's go in this bag right here. Valley Village. I don't think I had 30% off of this bag. We shall see what's in this bag. That's right. Camdy Baby was with me. My good luck charm that day. Didn't find much video games when I was game hunting with him. However, completing my Simpsons collection. I only wanted to get up to season 10. You got the complete ninth season of The Simpsons for six bucks. The complete eighth season of The Simpsons for eight bucks. And the complete tenth season. So obviously I own seasons one through seven. Now I have seasons one through ten and I'm done. I don't want to go up to, I think they're like 25 or something like that. I, I'm sticking with the first ten seasons. Those are all the memorable ones that I, uh, I loved. Mr. Plow, Homer the Heretic. Uh, Santa, or say, yeah, Santa's Little Helper, I think that was season one. You got the episode where Homer gets completely out of debt, quits his job, and then Maggie gets born. 
an ode to me why I stay at work because I do it for her. So many good memories of the Simpsons growing up. Little tidbit why Matt Groening made them yellow is that when you were flipping through the channels, you would stop because you saw these really great cartoony characters. Very smart. Obviously the most successful cartoon in history, I think. Pretty sure that's that's accurate. Season 10. Yeah! EB Games. This was when I went game hunting with Candy Baby again. I just bought them from EB Games because I know my local uh, comic book store, which I would love to support, but they sell pop figures for more than this. This was eleven ninety nine Canadian for uh, the Mega Man pop figures. Now, EB Games has a few special ones, but I thought it was smart enough just to buy these ones first, the basic set, basic colorways, before I buy the exclusive ones, because this is the one I really wanted to get. I got the four basic uh, Mega Man pop figures there. They have like an ice and fire power Mega Man colorway, which is literally just this Mega Man right there. Whoop, right there. This Mega Man painted in like orange and white and lighter blue and blue. I'll probably pick that up today when I go out with 64 Good Matthew. But yeah, there you go. I'll do close-ups with the red camera so y'all can see. I'm saying y'all a lot. Very happy to get this. I almost ordered this online for the exact same price plus shipping, so... Kudos to EB Games, big box chain, got me something I wanted for cheaper. Sorry, comic book store, I'm a dick. There you go. I never wanted to get in pop figures, but it's Mega Man, so it doesn't count. Almost maple syrup pickup of the video. All the surprise packs are gone. Really happy. I feel like a kid at Christmas time. Noah, you got a surprise pack here. Just saying. But I'll, I'll show that. Uh, I'll give it to him in person. Noah, check out our podcast I did with him. Oh, my daughter, you got cookies? Can I have a cookie? Look at those cookies, dude. Thanks, baby. Like, I got a cookie. Oh, I dropped my cookie. Um, all the way from Tokyo, Japan. It's not Tokyo, but it's from Japan. Our good buddy, Trevor, the master, Sensei Trevor. Thank you. Got me this. I got I got to pay him back for it, obviously. But uh, you can't get it here in North America. Biohazard HD, the first Resident Evil. I forgot what this comes with. It comes with like a map and a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, you can see right there. I'll put this on the red camera. Beautiful box. I don't know if I'm going to open this or not. Please comment below. Let me know. Would you open it or would you leave this thing sealed? It's a collector's edition for me. Uh, I don't. I didn't actually play this in HD. The closest thing I did was the GameCube version. But one of those. Thanks, baby. One of those most prized games in the history of Thrift Dweller and Nathaniel myself. There you go. Bye, Hazard. Oh, thanks. I got a collection of cookies here. Look at that. It's adorable. I love being a dad. This is hard to make videos. Sorry, y'all. Thanks, here. Look at all the cookies I got. Shout out to CJR. I haven't actually watched a lot of your videos lately. You've been so busy. But I know he does videos with his kids. So, kudos. Gamer Daddies. Hashtag it. Uh, maple syrup pickup of the week. Ian had a video game sale gone wrong on eBay. So I'll let him talk about it later. I traded him games for this game because he has a copy of it already. Thanks, baby. Adding it to the collection, Mega Man X 2 for the Super Nintendo. I'm very happy to have this. I don't have it yet, sadly. I've reneged not reneged that's not the right word i've stopped myself from buying it when it was available for cheaper than this game is going for now it's going for like 130 loose i could have bought a Mega Man x3 for uh 100 bucks in box so the box is ridiculous but I, I didn't and then now you look at it it's worth like 300 bucks at least uh complete so yeah sometimes being cheap is not so good Game is in pretty decent shape. There's a little crack at the corner, which I'm not too sad about. I'm just happy to have this. I have it on the Super Famicom, which takes away a little bit because the story, the captions are not in English. But you're really not playing it for that. You're playing it for the gameplay. 
I prefer Mega Man X2 over X3, personally. But I think that's just because I rented it more. X3 was always out and X2 was always there. Thanks, babe. I, this is one of the first games I remember having the boss screen bigger than the actual screen, you know what I mean? Like, if you, uh, the ostrich, over that, overdrive ostrich, his fighting stage, if you fight him, is way larger than usually confined to the aspect ratio of the screen. This one goes beyond it, and he jumps in and out of the background. Really made innovations for the, the boss battles in Mega Man X2 that carried on to X3. So that's it for me, the maple syrup pickup of the week. All the pickups this week. I'll do some B-roll of it so you can see closer up everything in better detail. 64 Bit Matthew is going to be uh, finishing his course right away. I'm going to meet him at EB Games. Probably pick up the last two of these pop figures. And that's about it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Oh yeah, also check out Gary. Game Over Gary, GOG. Did his first pickup video for a Thrift Dweller. I want him to continue to do these things. Because one of the underlying notes... I guess you could say. One of the underlying fibers that Thrift Dweller is held together by is friendship. And video games, obviously. <laughs> video games and friendship. That was what our childhood was all about. We not necessarily, except for Ian, but the best at sports. Uh, sports, no, I was never, I was a roly-poly kid. I made one basketball team and one volleyball team my whole life. Uh, Filipinos love basketball, but they're like 5'5 five, five <laughs> on average. So we were really good in junior high. Like, we won all the city championships and provincial championships, and then high school hit, puberty hit everyone else, and seemed to have missed us. Or we hit our, our growth spurts, like, in grade 8. And Ian became, all of a sudden, like, superstar athlete, and he discovered testosterone or whatever. He shot the 6 foot 12. I don't know. He seemed like a giant in high school. Uh, but yeah, video games and friendship, Thrift Dweller. We are your friends too, so please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching. Check out Gary, support him. Facebook.com forward slash Thrift Dwellers. Nate!